Big thanks to Global Conservation um, for the saddles. I mean, the anti-poaching, the horse unit has done uh, extremely well. We've cut our poaching right down. I think since the horses have come and we've dropped, we're having maybe one or two contacts uh, a month. Um, but what, what we are getting are arrests we're managing to catch the guys. Um, with the speed of the horses, the guys aren't managing to get away from us. So we, we, we really, on that side of things, we're getting some, some good convictions and the guys uh, are staying off the reserve now and purely that's because of the horses. We've, we're able to, in this terrain of 7,000 hectares, we've got uh, four to five horses going out every morning um, and it's done us, done us really well. That's the, even the anti-poaching unit, the guys are a lot happier. I think to walk up and down these mountains is a hell of a... Had of a toss, and you got a 55 kilometer boundary fence to patrol on foot. It's just not. You know, I was here a year ago, and the only thing that they requested from us was saddles, because saddles are very expensive here. So being able to drop in here and find this great partner in Unicorn Tack was something that I had been thinking about for almost a year of how we could do it in Africa. How do we find a partner in Africa that can help us source some of this tack cheaper? And so that happened, you know, from a year ago. It's a, that is a great feeling to have all the pieces fall into place, to actually be able to del deliver on the, the promise that Global Conservation Force would come back and give them these saddles. And you know that is all due to our donors. It's all due to fundraising. Uh, these specific saddles were purchased from the World Rhino Day fundraiser, uh, the LA version, which is also we partner with the AAZK, which is the Association of American Zookeepers. We have a great partnership with them. So it just shows like all these different entities coming together whether it's an NPO or just a donor or another establishment. What people don't understand, it's not like I can just run to a tax store if I'm missing something or needing something. In fact, getting these particular saddles to this particular reserve <laughs> took a cast of a lot of people. I was in a different part of Pazulu Natal. So the Project Rhino people actually picked them up from the tax store, transported them to another city, so Ant from this reserve could then pick them up, uh, saving me about 10 hours of driving probably. So it's just, again, all of these little pieces of people that are willing to help and move tack throughout or whatever we need to make these things happen. You certainly couldn't do it alone. You just, this place is too vast and, you know, we don't have a, a state line tack <laughs> or a broken horn right around the corner. Everything is so far away. So it, it takes a lot of people to make this stuff happen.